AIDS, one of the most deadly diseases of the world. It is acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. From this word immunodeficiency, you can actually make out that AIDS is a condition in which the immune system fails. Because AIDS virus, that is HIV virus, actually attacks the immune cells of your body, the immune system of your body, so it causes a syndrome that is acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. So AIDS is caused by a viral infection and that virus is HIV, human immunodeficiency virus, in which this virus attacks a special cells of your immune system and that those cells are helper T cells, okay? Helper T cells. Now what these helper T cells do? Helper T cells are very special cells of your immune system, of your defense mechanism that is naturally in your body. They are going to initiate the formation of lymphocytes. They are going to initiate the division of lymphocytes. They are going to actually activate lymphocytes. So these helper T cells secrete some secretions which are going to activate the lymphocytes and these lymphocytes are very important for fighting any infection in your body as you all know that regularly you actually have a lot of bacteria and viruses entering your body so which is the special system of your body that is going to protect you that is your immune system so what is this hiv virus doing it is going to infect your immune system it's going to attack your immune system so that your body's capability to fight with infections becomes quite weak, quite low and your body has a lowered immunity. What are the symptoms of AIDS? The symptoms of AIDS are lowered immunity. As I told you earlier that it is going to attack the immune system of your body and it's an immunodeficiency syndrome. So the immunity of your body to fight with diseases, to fight with infections is going to be lowered and there will be severe infections. Even a small infection is going to be very severe because of the immune system which is getting weak when a person has AIDS. Then tuberculosis, their tuberculosis and pneumonia, these are respiratory diseases. They are also the main symptoms of AIDS. Then one is Kaposi's sarcoma. Kaposi's sarcoma is actually a type of cancer. This cancer is there in the blood vessel walls of your body and what is what are the signs do you see about this symptom is there are pinkish to reddish spots on your body due to this Kaposi sarcoma remember that Kaposi sarcoma is a type of cancer in the blood vessel walls of your body so these are a few symptoms of AIDS acquired immunodeficiency syndrome remember that immunodeficiency syndrome what does this convey is that AIDS is a condition in which the immune system fails. Now your body may be infected by HIV but you won't be able to see the symptoms of AIDS instantly. It can also be seen after 10 years of HIV infection. Okay, So there is certain defense mechanism in, in your body which is going to fight with certain infectious agents and that defense mechanism, the defense system is the immune system of your body. So what what is the HIV virus going to do in your body? It is going to attack the special immune cells of your body termed helper T cells. These helper T cells are important because they are going to activate lymphocytes which are going to fight with the infectious agents in your body. They are going to, this HIV virus actually attacks this helper T cells. When this helper T cells will be attacked, your defense system, your immune system is going to get weaker. When it gets weaker, normal infections actually become severe infections. And these symptoms, tuberculosis, pneumonia, Kaposi sarcoma, they are the opportunistic infections. Why I am calling these as opportunistic infections? They are opportunistic infections because they are actually result of this lowered immunity in your body. So what is going to happen when your uh, immunity is lowered, some other normal infections are also going to take place which can be actually severe. So tuberculosis, pneumonia, they can also be uh, one of the symptoms because of this lowered immunity. And such infections which arise as a result of this lowered immunity, the major symptom, 
this these type of infections are known as opportunistic infections so remember hiv is hiv is going to attack the helper t cells of your body which are very important uh, from the defense point of view and if they are attacked you will have lowered immunity severe infections and many opportunistic infections also and kaposi sarcoma is a type of cancer that is caused by this hiv virus what happens in this case it is the cancer in your blood vessel valves and uh, as a result you can see pinkish or red spots on your body due to this kaposi sarcoma so remember that aids is caused by hiv virus which attacks the helper t cells of your body finally actually making your immune system quite weak that it will not be able to fight with infections now let us see in detail what is actually going to happen when you actually are infected by this hiv virus hiv virus is actually human immunodeficiency virus what happens in case of hiv virus 